Hi everyone, my name is Megan. Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about some ideas for home remedies for when your baby gets an ear infection. <laughs> So ear infections can be pretty common in babies, especially when they're teething. Teething can cause all sorts of things like rashes and ear infections is one of the co really common ones. Ear infections can come from other things, but my daughter's always gotten ear infections from teething. So I just wanted to give you guys some ideas for ways you can treat this at home and not have to take your baby to the doctor or use bad antibiotics, which aren't the most healthy thing for anyone, especially babies. It can cause all sorts of other problems other than the ear infection. So I try to avoid antibiotics as much as possible. So there's a few reasons where I would take my baby for, to the doctor for this, is if their fever gets above 102 and there's liquid draining out of their ear or ears. So if you have some or all of those things, and you're starting to not feel comfortable, I would call the doctor and see what else you can do. So ear infections can get bad enough where I would definitely take my baby to the doctor and it can cause hearing loss and different problems if you just let it keep going and wait until something terrible happens. But for the most part, ear infections are pretty minor. I think 60% of them go away within 24 hours and then within the first two to three days, that's when 90% of them go away. So it's pretty rare that they'd last longer than that and get really bad. Especially with some of these things I'm going to talk about today, you can pretty much get it to go away really quickly. So let's get right into this. My first tip is to make sure that they're drinking a lot of liquids. So if you have a breastfed baby, offer them the breast more. I would say this for teething also just because breastfeeding comforts a teething baby. And then for ear infections, the action of swallowing drains the liquid from the ear infection out of the tubes in their ears, so it helps it go way faster. Liquids also are just really great and really important for when you're sick. So if you have a breastfed baby, make sure they breastfeed a lot. If you have a baby that's drinking water, make sure you offer them plenty of water. And bone broth also is really important. Bone broth is amazing just for any time, especially for when your baby's sick. So when Sophia had an ear infection recently and she's not breastfeeding anymore, I made sure I offered her water whenever she was eating her solid foods and pretty often. And then I would offer her some bone broth heated up in one of her bottles. It can hurt them to swallow when they have an ear infection. So it can be actually pretty hard to get liquids inside of them, but it's really important to try because that will help your baby get better faster. My next tip is actually the one that's helped us the most, I think. This is some magic stuff. It's making homemade garlic oil with fresh garlic cloves and olive oil. You wanna make sure you have fresh garlic and some high quality olive oil. You're gonna be putting this inside of their ears so you don't wanna just use some cheap olive oil. You want it to be extra virgin or organic. What I do is I put the garlic clove on a spoon and then I use another spoon and I press the garlic until it's smashed and you can see got a little bit of garlic oil in there and it, you can smell that it's very fragrant. So get it nice and squished and then pour a little bit of olive oil in the spoon around that smashed garlic. And then all you do is you take the spoon and you hold it over the burner until the oil is sizzling a little bit. You don't want to get it too hot, but just right as it starts sizzling, I take it off and then I pull some of that oil up in a syringe and you put a few drops in whatever ear they have the infection in. A lot of times I would do it in both just in case I missed that she had a little infection in the other ear. So just a couple drops in each. You put the drops in and you keep their head tipped to the side for like 15 to 20 seconds and then you can tip it the other way and drain it and I you know, make sure I have a cloth underneath so it doesn't go all over her clothes and then do the same with the other side. And that stuff is amazing. They sell like little vials of garlic oil that you can put in your baby's ear and it's just pre-made and ready to go and that stuff is better than nothing but using fresh garlic is the key to why I think this works so well. And then something that goes along with that that I do whenever Sophia is sick for no matter what it is is at night I put either garlic or onions in her socks. And I know it sounds weird but it is magic. It works so well. Normally I like to do garlic but if I'm out of garlic onions are really great too. They're great for pulling toxins out. For Sophia, because she's still little and her skin's really sensitive, I put 
one sock on and then I put the garlic or onions on top of that sock and then I put the other sock on so that she's got something between her skin and the garlic and then something to hold it on just so that it doesn't burn her skin. Once your child gets a little older, it's fine to put it right on there. My third tip is to use essential oils. So Malaleuca and lavender are my favorites for this and I make a little lotion with some coconut oil or you can use almond oil or just whatever sort of carrier oil. I mean, olive oil would be great too, but you wanna dilute the essential oils in a carrier oil so that it's not too potent for your baby's skin. And then I put some Malaleuca and lavender essential oils in it and you put it behind your baby's ear and down on the bottom and a little bit in the front. So I would do that just whenever I put the garlic oil in her ears, I was messing with it anyway. So I just did both at once. I like to make sure that Sophia is getting a lot of vitamin C whenever she's starting to get sick. It's just great for immune support. So I found some little tablets on Amazon that you you can feed right to them and they dissolve really quickly so that they can't choke or anything and I really like those. You can also get powder vitamin C. I have some. It's actually acerola powder. It's vitamin C powder. It's really nice high quality stuff. So. I will put some of that in her bone broth or whatever she's going to be drinking. One thing that helps just with pain management is putting a warm compress over the infected ear. What I like to do is to get a washcloth and get it wet with nice warm water and then put a couple drops of lavender essential oil on it and the lavender just smells really nice and it's also great for ear infections and then just put it on their ear and she would really enjoy having that on her ear while she was breastfeeding or drinking her bone broth or something. She won't keep it on herself when she's in her own bed. So just whenever I'm gonna be snuggling her, feeding her something or whatever, I'll put it on her ear then. A warm human environment is also helpful for curing ear infections and also making it more comfortable. You can put a humidifier in the room. You can give them a nice warm bath and put some lavender essential oil in the bath and that really helps. Baths are a nice way to kind of distract your baby from the pain also. That's one of my other tips is that just keep them very distracted because if they're just bored, they're really gonna notice the pain. So if you can go on a walk or just find something that your baby really likes to do and is a little bit different and distracting and just let them do that. And also let them snuggle a lot because it's proven that it reduces a baby's pain if it can be right up against their mom and with their mom and so I don't require her to play independently when she's got an ear infection or isn't feeling well. I just let her snuggle me as much as she wants even though I get nothing done but that's fine. It's only for a short time. And then my last two things are things I haven't tried yet. I, I haven't had the chance because the garlic oil has always worked so well for us but these are on my list of things that I can try if I don't have garlic or it's not working for some reason, but you can get homeopathic medicine for ear infections. You can either get eardrops or I think tablets that they take and it dissolves in their mouth. I really like homeopathic medicine. I use homeopathic stuff for her teething. So I'm a huge fan of homeopathy. And then the other thing is hydrogen peroxide. And you just put this in the ear the same way as you would the garlic oil. I haven't tried either of these, so I don't know how well they work, but a lot of people swear by them. So they are totally great options. So I think that's all for my tips and advice for ear infections. They can be just so tough and especially since you might not always know it's that right away and you're just like, oh my baby's teething so bad and then you realize that it's teething and an ear infection you're like, man, no wonder they were so upset. But all of this stuff comes in phases and this, this will pass too. I know it's really hard to get wrapped up in how hard something is in the moment and think it's never gonna pass, but you will get through this and I hope some of these tips were helpful. You guys have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.